Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to go over uh, what I consider to be a simple herbal medicine chest. You know, just some things that you can um, have on hand for, oh, I wouldn't say emergencies, but you know, the, the small ailments of everyday life. And we're going to keep it simple so nothing is hard to get or complicated or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get started. And at the top of my list, because I do have a list, is sage. Sage is great for everything mouth and throat. So if you have mouth sores, you know, like a canker sore or um, something from braces or dentures or retainers or you bit the inside of your mouth, sore throat. Sage is what you're going to want to go for. Uh, you'll make just a plain tea with it, let it cool down, and then rinse. Um, if it's your throat, then gargle, but you'll do this about three times a day. I do have a video on it. Um, I'll put it down in the description if you want to check it out. But um, right here, if you, if you didn't grow any of your own sage, you just, you know, you can buy it. This I got in the produce department of a local grocery store and it's organic and when I get this I just bring it home open it up leave it sit on my counter it dries by itself you could put it in the cupboard too if you like just make sure it's not sealed and it'll dry out and you'll be able to use it or if you happen to have just the regular spice rubbed sage um, you can use that too. It's just finer, so you're going to um, probably have to strain it more. But other than that, it'll work just fine. Number two on my list is mullen. Now these are leaves that my son and I picked over the summer up at the cabin because we have tons of mullen up there. Very soft, uh, like lamb's ear although the leaves are quite a bit bigger than lamb's ear. And mullen is great for your upper respiratory. So if you got one of those real phlegmy coughs going on, you can feel that congestion in your chest, or even, you know, like bronchitis or a little bit of a sinus going on, you're going to want mullen. Now, um, it's fairly easy to get. You can buy it online. I'll try and find a link for you guys. Um, you would, when you get it, it'll be all cut up. But if you were to have the leaves, you would just tear them into pieces. You know, a couple tablespoons. Put your boiling water on there and make a tea out of it. And mullen will really help you out during cold and flu season. Okay, this next one is pretty simple. Tea. It doesn't matter if it's tea bags or loose leaf tea. This is chamomile, ginger, and peppermint. The ginger and peppermint are awesome for any kind of digestive problems, um, especially like nausea or indigestion. It's really good. Chamomile, of course, is a good calming tea. It's great for your nerves, and for children, it's good, um, especially for, you know, before bedtime to kind of bring them down a notch and help them get to sleep. But almost any tea is good for you. I mean, I can't think of one that's bad. So they all have some kind of benefits to them. You know, so if you only like black tea, that's fine. Go ahead and use that or green tea or white tea, you know, any kind of herbal tea you like. Most teas have very good medicinal value, so go ahead and have them. And um, if, if you like your sweet, or if you're just really feeling icky, make sure you add some good honey to it. Um, try and buy the best honey you can afford or get. Not everybody, you know, has a local beekeeper down the road, so you got to do a little bit of research but um yeah raw honey or just um a local hunting person that would probably be your 
your best bet. Next on the list is oregano oil. Now this ain't really in the, the herb form, but um, you can get it as an essential oil. I wouldn't buy it like that for um, what I'm going to tell you to use it for unless it already has a carrier oil in it. So really you're just better off getting these um, pills. Tab they're not really pills or tablets um, because they're oil, you know, like... Uh, like the fish oil pills. Well, these are oregano and I love this stuff. I have been taking it um, for years and I do it um, for colds, flus, or infections because it's very antibacterial, it's antiviral, and it's even antiseptic. So this will really help you out. For instance, um, years ago, I could feel an abscess starting um, up here on my gum, and I didn't have insurance at the time. I certainly didn't have dental insurance, so um, this saved me. Um, if you think it's an infection, like an abscess, I would take one of these three times a day. Um, if you're at the beginning of getting cold or flu, I would take one of these um, twice a day, morning and night before bedtime. But it, I encourage you to research the oil. It's fabulous. It, now next up, this is three different ingredients or herbs, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> This here is um, rosemary. I grew it myself. I'm not a huge fan of eating rosemary. I can only do that in little bits, but it's good for other stuff. And what I'm gonna tell you now, that's a good reason why I keep it. I will use rosemary and crush up these leaves a bit, along with eucalyptus oil and camphor. And Use that as a steam, you know, um, for when you're, you know, got like a bad head cold or something like that. So you just boil up the water in a pot and um, add, you know, like a teaspoon of the crushed up rosemary. And then go easy on the eucalyptus. Start with one drop and see how you go after that and then a few drops of the camphor. This will help open everything up. And this is, the rosemary is very healing too. So it'll help get that stuff out of your system and heal you up quicker. And these two together, the eucalyptus and the camphor, you can mix that with a carrier oil, and that can be olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil. Doesn't really matter. Use what you want. So you take about a tablespoon of that, the carrier oil. Add a drop or two of the eucalyptus and probably three or four of the camphor. And use it as a chest rub. And then if you have a little bit left over, go ahead and put it under your nose and go to sleep like that. Oh goodness, you'll sleep a whole lot better. You won't be nearly as congested. It'll really help, you know, keep that stuff flowing and out of there. Next up is lavender oil. Lavender oil can be used for a lot of things, but one of the, one of the things I use it for fairly frequently is headaches. So this is one of the, the few oils that you don't have to mix with a carrier and I will take little drops and I put them here on my temples and it depends on where that headache is. Sometimes if, I, if it feels like a sinus and I'm pretty sure it's not, I'm thinking it's trying to be a migraine, <laughs> then I'll put it here and here or up here but it really does help. And just breathing this in 
you know, um, you just sit there and you can put it in a diffuser. You can just smell it out of the bottle if you want for, you know, five, ten minutes. It'll help all of that relax, especially if it's a tension headache. But, you know, lavender is really good for um, your skin as well. And not just to keep it pretty, but if you have any kind of um, uh, cuts or burns or scrapes. Now, I wouldn't put this on an open sore by itself. I would mix it with something. And that brings me to the next one, honey. Like I, I mentioned earlier, Honey is great for a lot of things, but honey is really good for wounds of any kind, like your burns and your scrapes and your cuts. So you could mix a little uh, drop or two of the lavender oil with the honey and put it on whatever you have, say a cut on your hand, and make sure to cover that. The honey will help heal that a whole lot faster. It's really better than triple antibiotic ointment. It has more benefits in it than we even know. But honey is also great for any kind of cold and flu, and I'm sure you pretty much know that too. I mean, you put it in your tea, and honey helps coat the throat. And they have found through research that it also acts as a cough suppressant and I think that really helps especially when it comes to children um, so instead of giving them a standard medicated cough medicine you could let them have a teaspoon of this say before bed and that'll really cut down on their coughing and any kind of throat irritation they have um, and you can take it yourself for the same things always keep some good honey on hand. Now the last couple things I want to show you guys aren't exactly herbs, but um, I'm including them here because they're so beneficial. And to start with is um, zinc. This one's menthol and it's lemon. This one says echinacea zinc, different flavor cherry. Zinc can really help you out at the beginning, the very beginning of a cold or a flu. So that first day or two, when you start feeling lousy, start taking your zinc. And most of these, you have to suck on them. You can't chew them up. You need to suck on them. So some, some are more tasty than others. Find what you like but it will really cut down on the severity of your illness and the duration of it. Zinc acts as an immune boost booster. So if you're, you've been around anyone who's been sick, who's coughing or sneezing or whatever, you can take them then before you even get sick and hopefully you won't get sick then. So these are inexpensive. Um, I found them at a local grocery store. Just take a look around. I'm sure you can find them too. And lastly, muscle rub and these little uh, heat patches. They make bigger ones too. We're going to need this. I always need this. But you just never know. I mean, you get you have a sore shoulder or your neck hurts or you have a bad back. This stuff can really help you out. You know, I made this one myself. I have a video on that. I'll put it in the description. But even if you buy your stuff from the store or online or wherever you get it from, make sure to always keep this on hand. It can make your day a lot better. And these are just salon pods. I know a lot of you use them. I do too. Um, these are really nice if you have to be out and about and you can't really apply this. So go ahead and make sure you have that. Now, it may seem like a lot of stuff I told you, but it really isn't. And they all pretty much have multiple uses, you know. So just keep this stuff on hand. And when cold, flu season, or, you know, little scrapes, or... 
bad backs happen, you'll be prepared for it. Um, let me know in comments um, if you have any kind of home remedies or little recipes or something that you'd like to share because we'd all like to hear it. I know I would and I'm sure plenty of other people would too. You know, did grandma tell you something or mom hand down something? I'd really uh, like to know. So anyhow, if you like the video, please thumbs up it. I would appreciate that. And as always, it was nice talking to you. And you take care.